my brothers and sisters. I'm running late. <laughs> How was your weekend, guys? Everybody have a blessed weekend. Get some rest. Do some studying. I um, was looking through some comments of uh, another brother's channel. And it's nobody that's on here. And I was just going through the comments just to see. It's a good way to get a good temperature read where everybody, where everybody's at, you guys. And the conversation was about, uh, you know, whether this is the mark or isn't the mark. And <clears throat> there was a lot of aggressive conversation, you guys. There was a lot of uh, unchristian-like conversation in the comments. And I know we've all been there. I know you've seen a, a comment that you knew was just wrong and that person was deceived and you start typing out this long message and it's not you, it's the enemy typing. It's not Jesus typing, it's the enemy typing. And you read it over and you're like, I'm not sending that. Uh, that's, not, that's not what Jesus would say to this person. So therefore don't send it, you guys. And that's, that's, our enemy's trying to constantly catch us off guard, constantly trying to get us, get us to slip up. That's why uh, they say your loved ones know how to push your buttons because that's the enemy working through them and knowing how to get to you quickly because they've spent so much time with you. And so, yes, they, they do know your triggers, your buttons. So we need to work on those triggers, those buttons, and just to let it all go. And to it, it, and it's always, it goes back to the same thing, if you notice, guys. Every single time when you get upset, and I mean like from zero to 100 upset because of something that somebody said or did, it's always pride, you guys, if you notice. Always, every single time. Pride telling you that you know better than that person and that's your job to, to correct them. Now listen, it, it is our responsibility to edify but we're supposed to do everything as love thy neighbor as thyself. Always. Always. And if you don't have the ability to do that at the time, then walk away from that conversation. It's better that you walk away from that conversation than say something that's going to be a detriment or something that's going to push back that brother or sister's walk. Go ahead. Go ahead. And I'm going to say this, you guys. We, we know our enemy at this point. To know the battle that we're in, we, we need to know our enemy. And I know, and you know, in my spirit, that he sends people specifically into that chat. So if he's got a lukewarm brother or sister, and, and he's tempting them at that time, they will be more likely to, to say things in that chat that are not Christ-like. And they're very, you can tell them by the fruit, you guys, it's the one of the I love that saying, you guys. You can tell them by the fruit. The, the moment there's any kind of aggression or sin related to a conversation, that's not Jesus. That's it. So at that point there, if you feel, if it's been put on your spirit and you feel the urge to want to wanna attempt to edify that brother or sister, do so, but do so lovingly, always, every single time. And you'll notice a trend when you're having a conversation with that person. It, it'll just, the, the notch will start going up and up and up and it'll get a little more aggressive and a little more aggressive to the point where there's some name calling. I, I was a part of a channel one time and this gentleman was from my country and, and he actually would go around preaching on the street um, and he did this tour where, where he went all across Canada and him and I talked a little bit and... Uh, and then one time I, I came to him and tried to have a conversation with him about something and he came back and, and insulted me. And right then and there, I, I knew it. I, I knew Jesus would never do that, you guys. We, we would never do that to somebody. We would never come against them to the point where we would try to attack them personally. Um, 
And so therefore we, we have to be wise as serpents, harmless as doves in all areas of our walk. And so when we're having these conversations in, in the thread, and, and I'm going to tell you, the, the conversations in the thread of the video are usually more important than the video itself. And so to get every other perspective is very, very important because we need to be constantly learning. We are students. And when Jesus told us to be, we need to be as children. Innocence, obviously, is the first one that comes up. But children are like sponges, you guys. They're constantly learning. They want more knowledge. Why? Why? That's where you get that child. Why? 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 So he, he wants us constantly open to be able to learn. Now, when we hear something that hits our spirit that's just doctrinally wrong, it's just not right, well, then you'll know. Trust in that. Trust in the fact that you are so deeply rooted in your foundation that you won't be swayed off your path. But do you have all the answers, you guys? Do I have all the answers? Not even close. Not even close. I, I Working on my salvation daily, you guys, just like everyone else is. So I encourage you, when there's something in a chat that you, you, you don't find right, it's not doctrinally wrong, don't come against that brother or that sister to the point where it's going to be a detriment for their walk. If you feel it in your spirit to edify, please, by all means, edify. But always, at the forefront of your mind, love thy neighbor as thyself. That's it. And we're supposed to love our enemies, brothers and sisters. So even if we see somebody in the chat that's coming against us as an enemy, what not better as an example of Jesus Christ than to show that enemy love? Because have, how many times have you heard in your walk, even before you were even a Christian, kill him with kindness? Well, what did that mean? That meant don't rile up the spirit. Because the moment that that spirit comes against you aggressively and angrily, I don't even know if that's a word, it is now, <laughs> then you come back with aggression. Well, that riles that spirit up and then that spirit comes back at you and it riles the, the evil spirit inside of you. And so you've got this duel where that's, that's all the, the spirit's doing. Like when I was reading this thread yesterday, I could, I could picture the enemy in my spirit laughing and rubbing his hands because that's all he wanted. He just wanted us to fight. And the main area, the main people that were fighting were what looked like Christians. So if anybody came into that chat that was new, like let's say it was their first time, uh, it popped up on their feed and they were like, you know what, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna I've been, it's been on my spirit, uh, it, I'm gonna give it a go, I'm gonna take a look. And they go through those comments and then all of a sudden they see us fighting in the comment section. I think the word is hypocrite, you guys. So bear in mind, we need to be as Jesus Christ at all times, not just on the pages that we're surfing here on YouTube, but in our daily walks. So if you've got a brother or a sister, you know, hearing you preach, whether it be at work or whatever the case may be, but then you're not walking right, well then what are we doing here? You know right away, you know it, the devil quickly is going to be in their ear and say, hey, look, look, look at him. And that's the so-called Christian right there, hey? Hmm. Because you know that's all the devil wants. The, do the devil wants to be able to point a finger at you and expose you, whether it be true or not. It doesn't matter. So if you're walking right, if you're allowing Jesus to walk for you, then he'll have nothing on you. He won't even be able to look at you. So this is going to be short and sweet, you guys. I just noticed that this weekend, and, and I did see some of you in the chat and you guys were amazing. So I'm not I'm not saying that this is anybody on here. It's just a, a, a beautiful little reminder that we need to be ambassadors of Jesus Christ at all times, wherever we are, however we are, and to make sure that we always have him at the forefront of our mind because you never know. You never know when your conversation will be the conversation that a new brother or sister sees and goes, wow, I want to look more into this. So I love you guys. I pray you all have an amazing week. Keep smiling. And uh, yeah, definitely, Father willing, I'll, uh, I'll do another one as soon as I can. Take care. God bless.